For so many folks, this season is not all merry and bright. Grief can be so powerful, especially now. Thankfully, St. Anthony's Hospice is here to help. April Heflick is the bereavement coordinator for St. Anthony's. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, this time of year, I think you, you certainly realize how important your mm -hmm. service is and your work. So if somebody's watching, they're struggling, struggling with grief, depression, all of these things that pull us down when everybody mm -hmm. else is singing Christmas carols, what advice do you you give? First and foremost, no matter how much time has passed since your loved one has died, know that grief does not ever stop. It, we learn to bear it and hold it. And so even if it's been 10 years, two years, six months, um, your grief matters. And uh, there's no shame in struggling with grief even during the holidays. But uh, what I would advise is really pay attention to the basics. It sounds so elementary, but water, food, and rest. When we are newly grieving especially, our body's immune system is down. And so we are very susceptible to catching all those wonderful viruses and things that are going around in the wintertime. So pay attention. Um, sleep is really hard when we're newly grieving. So when you can rest, do rest. Um, and just like I said, drink, drink water. If you're not normally somebody who drinks water, drink water. And then um, do get some exercise, move your body because your body needs that movement. Um, and then just be gentle with yourself. Just good self-care. Yes. Good self-care. Yes. And I know so often people say, I know I should mm. do that, oh. but I don't feel like it. Oh. And you hear that all the time. Well, what services are you providing through this time and beyond? Oh, yes. We actually provide individual grief counseling, and we provide that not just for our patients, family members, but we provide that for the community. Wonderful. And um, there's absolutely no fee to that. This is part of our outreach to the community. So there is individual bereavement counseling and then we also provide some uh, support groups that are run by peers but also uh, counseling groups that I run. Um, we have one happening right now that's specifically for widows and widowers. Um, we have also a support group that's for those who are um, loved ones to somebody who has died by suicide. So covering the gamut. Yes. And how do we find out when those programs are available? You can uh, either go to our Facebook, you can go to our website, or you can just give us a call at the office and our number is 270-826-2326. You know, speak a bit about the power of that support group that mm -hmm. are peer supported and what people say once they've kind of come through that program. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have had individuals who now are volunteering, actually. They're taking my spot right now, volunteering and facilitating that group. And they, some would say it saved their life at a time when they were loneliest and at a darkest place. They um, learned there was some hope, and that was mainly through connection with other individuals. It's not really me. It's me getting to facilitate those relationships. So several uh, of our people who have been there a couple years even are now volunteering. Um, and also some have just learned that they're not going crazy. Grief can make you feel a little crazy and it's hard to know when you can talk about it and what's the difference between grief and depression. And, and we help people understand that grief is a very normal response when you have lost someone you love. And it's actually love that has nowhere to go. Um, so I am uh, delighted that some of our people who now I can say are actually giving to others and volunteering and sharing their own experience and stories with others who are grieving. Very, very healing for mm -hmm. all involved. Thank you, April, for Absolutely. all you do. Absolutely. Thank you. More lifestyles coming up after this commercial. Stay with us.